good morning students how are you i hope you all are fine i am your english teacher ruchi singh and today we will do question answers of class 3 english chapter 9 birds paradise you have learned about bharatpur national park in this chapter now let us do question answers of this chapter write t for the statements which are true and f for the false ones we have to write t for true and f for false statements okay students true statements ke liye hum t likhenge aur jo statements false hain wrong hain unke liye hum f likhenge so let us start first is the kerala dev ghana national park is located in bharatpur kerala dev ghana national park भरतपुर में है इज इट ट्रू और फॉल्स दिस इज ट्रू सो वी विल राइट हियर टी नेक्स्ट इज द महाराजा ऑफ भरतपुर कंस्ट्रक्टेड अ पक्का डैम भरतपुर के महाराजा ने पक्का डैम कंस्ट्रक्ट करवाया था या कच्चा डैम ही कंस्ट्रक्टेड कच्चा डैम सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज false so we will write here f next is the bharatpur lake has become one of the best duck shooting wetlands in the world jo wo bharatpur lake thi wo best duck shooting wetland hai world mein yes this is true but indian government banned duck shooting next is bharatpur is the animal watchers delight bharatpur animal watchers ke liye pleasure hai no it is pleasure for bird watchers so this statement is false so we will write here f okay students these were true and false now answer the following questions question number 1 is what does the word ghana mean ghana word ka kya meaning hai answer is the word ghana means thick okay students next is why did the maharaja of bharatpur construct a dam भरतपुर के महाराजा ने डैम कंस्ट्रक्ट क्यों करवाया था एंड आंसर इज द महाराजा ऑफ भरतपुर कंस्ट्रक्टेड अ डैम टू सेव द टाउन फ्रॉम फ्लड्स भरतपुर को फ्लड से सेव करने के लिए कच्चा डैम कंस्ट्रक्ट करवाया था ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री When did the government ban the shooting of birds at Ghana? Government ne shooting of birds kab ban kari thi Ghana mein? Answer is the government banned the shooting of birds at Ghana in 1965. 1965 mein Ghana mein बर्ड्स की शूटिंग को बैन कर दिया गया था गवर्नमेंट्स के द्वारा क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इज वेन डू द साइबेरियन क्रेन्स विजिट द पार्क साइबेरियन क्रेन्स कब आते हैं घना नेशनल पार्क में आंसर इज द साइबेरियन क्रेन्स अराइव इन दिसंबर इन केवला देव पार्क और कब तक रहते हैं दे स्टे स्टिल मार्च okay students they comes in december and they stays till march now name the animals that live in the forest around the lake kon kon se animal hai jo hame wahan milte hain answer is deer jackals foxes and hyenas blue bulls black bucks and other fishing cats and monitor lizards live in the forest around the lake okay students around the lake now activity 2a 
identify the pictures of words and write their names by choosing a suitable word from the box. What you have to do? Kya karna hai aapko? This box is given and name of birds are also given. Crow, Parrot, Siberian Crane, Hen, Peacock and Sparrow. In pictures mein se aapko identify karna hai ki ye picture kis bird ki hai. And you have to write its name. Ok students, in box mein se birds ke name dekhiye aur in pictures ke niche write down kijiye. Ok? So, let us see first picture. What is this? This is hen. So, we will write here hen. Hen is done. Next, this bird, which bird is this? This is sparrow. So, we will write here sparrow. S P A R R O W. And which bird is this? This is crow. So, we will write here crow. Next, this is parrot. Have you seen any parrot? This is parrot and this is Siberian crane. So, we will write here Siberian crane. And this is our national bird, peacock. So, we will write here peacock. Ok students, this is hen, sparrow, crow, parrot, Siberian crane and peacock. Now, you got it? Now, match the name of the animals which are found in Ghana National Park with their pictures. Animal ki pictures de rakhi hai and here names are given. So, we have to match these. Animal ki name se animal ki picture ko match karna hai. So, let us start. Deer, jackal, fox, hyena, black buck, fishing cat and monitor lizard. First is deer. Where is deer? Here it is. So, we will match this to picture of deer. Next is jackal. Jackal. Where it is? This one. So, we will match this to jackal. Ok. Next is fox. Where is fox? This is fox. Match it with picture of fox. Next, henna. Henna is still this one. This picture is of henna. Next is black buck. Black buck. Here it is. So, we will match it to black buck. Next is fishing cat. Where is fishing cat? This is fishing cat. Match it with fishing cat. Last is monitor lizard. Where it is? See, this is monitor lizard. So, we will match it to monitor lizard or you can write number also. Number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5 black buck and number 6 and number 7. Ok, now it is clear, now you got it. Now look at the following word, nation plus al is equal to national. Here, al is a suffix. What are suffix? A suffix is added at the end of a root word. Means, kisi word ke end mein, if we add some word, 
दैट इज कॉल्ड सफेक्स और उस वर्ड के ऐड करने से एक न्यू वर्ड बन जाता है ओके स्टूडेंट्स सफेक्स इज एडेड एट द एंड ऑफ द रूट वर्ड जो आपका वर्ड है उसके आगे हम एड कर देते हैं जो वर्ड्स दैट आर कॉल्ड सफेक्स नाउ रीराइट द फॉलोइंग वर्ड्स बाय एडिंग द सफेक्स ए एल नाउ वी विल रीराइट सम वर्ड्स बाय एडिंग ए एल सफेक्स फर्स्ट इज गिवन मैजिक नाउ वी विल एड ए एल टू इट प्लस ए एल नाउ वट इज द वर्ड मैजिकल so we will write here magical okay students logic plus al is equal to logical l o g i c a l logical then mechanic plus al and it's equal to mechanical mechanical next is electric and we add suffix al to it and it becomes electrical next is classic we will add al to it and it will become classical Okay students now activity 3 look at the following sentences and pictures this is a cuckoo these are cuckoos this and these cuckoo and cuckoos what is the difference we notice that this is used with one thing and these with more than one thing this ko humne kab use kiya hai jab hum one cuckoo ki baat kar rahe hain aur these ko humne kab use kiya hai when we are talking about more than one ye one se zyada hai so that's why we use these and helping verb are and in this helping verb is this This is a cuckoo. It is used for one thing, and these are cuckoos. Plural form. It is used for more than one thing. Okay, students. Now you understand it. Now fill in the blanks with this is and these are. Now what we will do? अब हम picture देख के this is और these are का यूज करेंगे सो लेट एस स्टार्ट डैश अ गूज ओनली वन गूज इज देयर सो वी विल राइट दिस इज दिस इज अ गूज इन नेक्स्ट पिक्चर वी हैव टू गूज सो वी विल राइट हियर दीज दीज आर गूज See next, this is a single duck. So we will write here, this is a duck. And see in this picture, there are three ducks. So we will write, these are ducks. Okay, students. Now see, this is one dove. So we will write. This is a dove. Means singular है. एक ही dove है. Then we will use this. अगर more than one है, like this, then we will write these are doves. So now we will write these are doves. Now next picture. This is woodpecker. this is one woodpecker so we will write here this is a woodpecker and see in this picture there are two woodpecker so we will write 
these are these are woodpeckers now listen to the following short poem about birds and their sounds and recite it after your teacher sounds of the birds are given in this poem so let's recite it cocks crow crows caw swans cry ducks quack pigeons coo all these are sounds of these birds geese cackle eagles scream bees hum sparrows chirp so these were the sounds of some birds understand it now activity 5 draw a picture of your favorite bird and color it what you have to do jo bhi aapka favorite bird hai uski picture draw karenge aur color karenge like this this is the picture of who parrot this is a parrot and now write three sentences about your favorite bird aur jo picture aap draw karenge favorite bird ki uske liye three sentences bhi aapko write down karne hain how let us see a parrot is commonly green in color and has a curved beak as we see in the picture also parrot is the only known bird which can speak like human as we all know parrot can imitate us hamari tarah voice nikalte hain wo it eats nuts grains seeds and specially loves chili what does it eat it eats nuts grains seeds and specially chili chili bahut pasand hai inko okay students in this way you can write about your favorite bird now there is a activity of making a bird and what things we need old greeting card dal or black bindi for eyes scissor gum bottle old newspaper old shoe lace see now what are the steps of making a bird make an outline of the bird on a greeting card and cut it out ek purane greeting card pe bird ki outline draw karenge usko cut kar lenge cut a small square from an old newspaper and fold it to make a fan kya karenge ek square kaatenge old newspaper se aur usko fold kar denge fan banane ke liye keep the fan closed fan ko band kar denge pass the folded fan through the cut on the bird's back and now open the folds of the fan kya karenge see aise banayenge aap aise picture draw kari fir ye paper ka fan banaya ye aapne iske upar laga diya now make the eye by sticking a bindi or dal आई बर्ड की आई बनाने के लिए या तो कोई बिंदी या दाल का दाना लगा देंगे पेस्ट और स्ट्रिंग और ओल्ड शू लेस टू हैंग द बर्ड या तो ओल्ड शू लेस या फिर किसी स्ट्रिंग से उसको टाई कर देंगे लाइक दिस सो नाउ योर बर्ड इज रेडी टू फ्लाई इन दिस वे यू कैन मेक अ बर्ड स्टूडेंट्स these were question answers of your chapter 9 just do all the question answers in your english notebook hope you all understand it thank you and have a good day